So this is the next question. Phi B, given the potential field V is equal to A rho 4 plus B rho 4 rho to the power 4. Okay, A rho to the power 4 plus B rho to the power 4 sine 4 5. Okay, show that the potential field satisfies the Laplace equation. Okay, so this is one tricky question yet very very easy to solve. Okay. So we know that general Laplace equation is del square v equal to 0, right? So we need to be solving this equation v in such a way that we should be getting the del square v equal to 0, okay? We need to be getting this whole answer equal to 0, okay? So that's why del square v we need to be substituting in a cylindrical coordinate system since they have mentioned rho and phi, okay? These two are in cylindrical coordinate system only. So expand del square v in cylindrical coordinate system. That is 1 by rho, dou by dou rho of rho, dou v by dou rho plus 1 by rho square, dou square v by dou, dou phi square, plus dou square v by dou z square. So del square v is equal to 1 by rho, dou by dou rho of rho, dou by dou rho of v, that is substitute a rho 4, a rho power 4 plus b rho power 4, sine 4 5, okay, plus 1 by rho square, dou square by dou phi square of again the value of v, then plus dou square by dou z square of the value of v again, okay, then del square v is equal to 1 by rho, dou by dou rho of so here uh, if we differentiate with respect to rho this term so this term we can keep it constant as it is sine 4 phi and here if we differentiate for rho, rho, uh, rho to the power 4 the differentiation of rho to the power 4 is 4 rho cube okay so that's why 4 a rho cube and here it is 4 b rho cube into rho outside we have one more rho right so that's why it is 4 a rho to the power 4 plus 4 b rho to the power 4 sine 4 phi as it is and dou by dou rho 1 by rho dou by dou rho plus so here if we see that this term here this term would directly be equal to 0 because we don't have any z term in this equation so we are differentiating twice with respect to z right since you don't have any z term so this whole term again it's equal to 0 only so 1 by rho square dou square by dou phi square okay we need to be partially differentiating twice with respect to phi so that's why once when we differentiate this term we are getting here phi so this term a rho of power 4 plus b rho power 4 keep it as it is constant so sine 4 phi its uh, differentiation with respect to phi is 4 cos 4 phi since differentiation of sine is cos and here we have 4 phi so that is 4 cos 4 phi into a rho of power 4 plus b rho power 4 if we partially differentiate once again if we partially differentiate this term that is here first let's differentiate this term dou by dou rho of this term that is 1 by rho into so again we have rho power 4 and rho power 4 that is equal to 4 rho cube okay so we have 4 into 4 that is 16 a rho cube same here 16 4 4 are 16 here b so this its differentiation is 4 rho cube so 4 4 are 16 b rho cube into sin 4 phi as it is okay plus 1 by rho square of dou by rho phi this term again that is uh, this uh, a rho power 4 plus b rho power 4 as it is when we are differentiating with respect to phi. So 4 cos 4 phi its uh, differentiation is uh, differentiation of cos is minus sine. So we have here one more 4. So if you want to differentiate it again. So 4 4 are it will be minus 16 sine 4 phi a rho power 4 plus b rho power 4. Okay. So now what we are doing is 1 by rho 16. So you are multiplying this term with the sine 4 phi. And this term with sine 4 5 that is 16 a rho cube sine 4 5 plus 16 b rho cube sine 4 5 into 1 by rho plus 1 by rho square into 16 minus 16 a rho power 4 sine 4 5 minus 16 b rho power 4 sine 4 5 okay and here after uh, multiplying we are we can we can see that here we have rho and here we have rho cube okay we can take one rho common outside this bracket so that we can cancel this rho and here it will be rho square so that is 16 a rho square sine 4 5 plus 16 b rho square sine 4 5 minus we have a rho square outside and here we have rho power 4 so if you want to take rho square out common outside here and we can cancel it we are left here with only rho square right again so that is minus 16 a rho square sine 4 5 minus 16 b rho square sine 4 5 okay so we can see that we are it is positive here it is negative we can cancel it and make it zero same goes with plus 16 b rho square sin 4 phi and minus 15 minus 16 b rho square sin 4 phi we can cancel this so this whole term is cancelled so therefore del square v is equal to finally we have got it as 
zero so we can say that laplace equation is satisfied in this case okay so in this way we are going to solve this problem here okay nothing much we need to be partially differentiating this term okay the partial differentiation would be spot on we should not we should not make any mistake okay also if you want the detailed explanation of poisson's and laplace laplace equation derivation you can refer our concept video which you have created the playlist and kept it to your also it might be popping up to the right of your top right of your screen you can uh, refer that yeah it, it is visible now you can click on click on that and refer that video as well okay yeah so this was the solution you can uh, note it down okay so now this is very very important concept here that is ampere's law in differential form or point form okay so this question is uh, multiple times repeated and also it's uh, there in the model question paper i guess that is ampere's law in differential form or point form okay yeah so we know that in general h by d h uh, line integral of h dot dl is equal to i which we get uh, got from the uh, ampere's law which we have just seen right now so this relation is useful in circuit theory in field theory we have to relate this quantity that a uh, point in space okay so curl is a point relation so now, now consider an incremental area here, delta s, okay, which has four directions, and from this midpoint of that, the draw and uh, medium, or uh, and direction, which is denoted as delta i, okay, and a conducting medium with delta i flowing through the area normal to it, okay, integrating h around around the peripheral of the area delta h, what we were, delta s, what we will be getting is from Ampere's law, we know that line integral of h dot dl is equal to i, which we already know. So now we need to be dividing the area delta s uh, in both the sides, okay, which is enclosed by the path. So for this equation, in both the sides, let's uh, uh, divide the area delta s. So what expression we would be getting here is line integral of h dot dl divided by delta s is equal to delta i by delta s, okay. So now next step what we need to be doing is taking limit of uh, equation 1 as area delta s tending to 0. Then LHS of 1 is called as curl of H while RHS is equal to the current density that is J at a point around which delta S is tending to 0. That is here after taking the limit of 1 that is limit of uh, limit where delta S is tending to 0. Okay. So now what we would be getting here is limit delta S tending to 0 line integral of H dot DL divided by delta S is equal to limit delta S tending to 0 delta I by delta S. Okay. So we know that we just we have uh, derived just now we have uh, derived the expression of uh, curl right curl of h uh, so we can see that this term line integral of del h dot dl divided by delta s s is equal to curl of h right and also delta i by delta s where limit delta s is tending to zero that's why we would be getting the expression of current density so that's why we would be getting this relation that is curl of h is equal to j in case of ampere's uh, law in differential form okay so is there any further derivation no so that's all so please uh, go through this ampere's law in uh, differential form okay please uh, make a note of this and uh, hope you understood this video if you did not understand please comment down we would be trying to obtain uh, your solutions obtain your clear your doubts and uh, this is the brief uh, description of the ampere's uh, law in uh, Ampere's law in differential form you can see here, okay, in this whole page. So please uh, take it down and uh, note it down. So this is very, very important. So again, please like, share, subscribe. So we have uh, done many more videos related to this subject only. You can refer our playlist. So this would be appearing in the right of your screen now, okay. Please uh, refer our playlists of all the subjects of this SEM of uh, electronics and communication de department. So please like, share, subscribe and share this to a huge number guys so that we would be achieving our goal and also you would be understanding more concepts okay. Please show the support. So that's all. Thank you. So this is the next question 6b. If magnetic field intensity in a region is h is equal to 3y minus 2 ax vector plus 2x a by vector ampere per meter then we need to find the current density and also calculate the value of current density at the point mentioned that is 2 comma 30 degree comma 20 degree when the value of h is mentioned as 1 by sin theta a theta amperes per 
neat okay so nothing much to do we need to be calculating the value of current density twice so in the first case we have the relation of uh, current density and uh, the magnetic field intensity that is given as del cross h is equal to j so this relation which we are obtaining it is from the ampere's law okay so those who don't know uh, we have made the detailed video of this uh, ampere's law in point form as well as in differential form and also for ampere circuital law you can refer our playlist also it might be popping up to the top right of your screen yeah you can click that video and you can refer that as well so let's get back to this question now so first thing they have mentioned is the in the value of h they have given ax and ay so when it, when it's given ax and ay you can see that the, it is in rectangular coordinate system so that's why we need to expand del cross h in rectangular coordinate system that is first row elements ax vector ay vector az vector do by do x do by do y do by do z dx dy dz so in this case the question of in the mentioned dx value is 3y minus 2 the mentioned dy value is 2x so we don't have any dz value so it is 0 that is equal to j so therefore our value of j is we need to be taking the determinant now okay that is these two rows are eliminated cross multiply do by do y into 0 is 0 do by do z into 2x so partially differentiating with respect to z so don't, we don't have any z term so that's why it is again 0 ax vector minus this and this is eliminated do by do x into 0 is 0 and do by do z into 3y minus 2 again we don't have any z term so again it is 0 ay vector plus these two rows, rows, are, rows and columns are eliminated so these two are left now do by do x of 2x okay that is uh, with respect to x we need to differentiate this so it is 2 differentiation of 2x is 2 minus do by do y of 3y minus 2 so 3y differentiation is 3 and 2 differentiation is 0 so that's why 2 minus 3 is z vector so these two would be getting cancelled so, so similar, our remaining value of current density is minus a z vector okay so in this way we need to be solving for first thing also for second case what they have given is they have given we need to cal calculate the value of j at point 2 comma 30 comma 20 degree when h is equal to 1 by sin theta a theta amperes per meter so now same thing del cross h is equal to j but now we need to expand del, del cross h in spherical coordinate system since they have given the values of r theta and phi right so del cross h is equal to in spherical coordinate system this is the formula for del cross h you can note it down very very important that is ar divided by r squared sin theta in the first row a theta divided by r sin theta and a phi divided by r second row do by do r do by do theta do by do phi zero r by sin theta since in the this term it is represented as r d theta so in place of d theta we have one by sin theta in the question okay so that's why it is r by sin theta in and zero so again take the determinant and solve it okay these two terms would be zero so one by sin theta so differentiation of do by do r with respect to r is one so one by sin theta minus zero into a phi by r okay a phi by r so j is equal to one by so we have here r so multiply that r sin theta into a phi vector so this is the value of j so now j at 2 comma 30 degree comma 20 degree that is one by the value of r is 2 sin theta that is 30 degree a phi so one by two into sin 30 is one by two so two two will be getting cancelled here so one by one is one so the one into a phi okay so the value of j final value of j is a phi vector okay so that's all you can uh, note it down here this was the problem of model paper okay so please note it down okay